Right, I'll tell, I'll tell you this wee story. Um, about... When would that have fucking been? But I bet that was about 20 fucking year ago, man. Right, four? Aye. I think it was about 20 fucking year ago. Um, it was coming up for Christmas. By the way, is this a, is this a good story? I'd say a story's a 5 out of 10. Um, about 20 years ago, when I was about 24, because I'm 44, um, I met a guy that I knew for Greenock when I was younger. We decided to meet up for all time's sake. Met up the town in Glasgow. The town's what you call the city centre in Glasgow. And it was like, it was Christmas time, Christmas shoppers. It was all cold, getting a wee bit dark, bit frosty and all that. We went up the bars for a wee wander. Um, and then we were up the town and we were just sort of walking about and all that. And there was a few of these wee pop-up shops, you know, these wee shops that just open for Christmas and I kind of, you know, for a week or two and then they shut down again. You know, one of the ones that have got kind of, the signs just like a kind of thing put up. Um, you know, it's an actual shop um, unit, if you know what I mean. It was it was previously like say a clay shop, but then nobody was in it, so they there was maybe some sort. You know what I mean? There was a few of them dotted about. Anyway, uh, me and this guy that I knew for Greenock were walking past. I don't know how well you know Glasgow, but we're walking past. In fact, I'll tell you exactly where it fucking was. I'll tell you exactly where this fucking was. Was it? Maybe it wasn't. No, maybe it wasn't. Do you know where the beer hall was? In Glasgow. The beer hall. On Gordon Street. Round the corner for the lighthouse. Round the corner for Buchanan Street. And all that. Downstairs. It's a downstairs pub. Across the TGI Friday's eye. Right. Just there, um, there were some leaflets getting handed out. iPod for a fiver. This is like 20 years ago. Was that? iPod then? I think so. iPod for a fiver. Telly for 20 quid. All this sort of shit. Leaflets um, saying it's done there. In that shop down there. And it was either in the place that then became the beer hall. Or it was next to the beer hall. But it was a. It, it, you know like. Cunts just fucking. Ian Lee thank you very much for the fucking 7 month resub. Thank you very much mate. Um, It was. People whoring at these leaflets. Right. And I was like to this. Uh, this pal. Yeah, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Looks a lot of shite, doesn't it? We'll try it anyway. Uh, I don't know who sent. Hold on. Uh, Scott Duffy says, story is boring. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a wee ban, right? And I'll let you get back to your exciting life. Um, If you think to yourself, that's a bit fucking harsh. He's only been following since like two weeks ago. He's only ever left 20 messages. He wasn't a subscriber or anything like that. It's a guy who's just sort of in, drifting and drifting out. Doesn't give a fuck. Um, I'm not, I don't want people out here. Long timers. Half of you cunts. Subscribers going like, Lemiris is actually boring. And I say that as a pal. I say that as a good friend of yours. Lemiris is actually boring as fuck. That's fair enough. But somebody who's just like... Leaves like 10 messages and they've only been following for a week. Ban, 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 ban. Um, Anatomical Bombs, thank you very much for the raid. Um, so I was like to my pal, do you want to check it out? Let's check it out, fuck it. And remember I was only like, tw and like 22 at the time or so. So 
you're, you're still not quite sure. You're like, right now, I don't trust. See, at this age, I don't trust any cunt. I don't trust any cunt. I'm 44. I don't trust any cunt, man. Nay, cunt. If somebody comes up to me and says, here, I'd like you to have this, I'm just like, oh, fuck. I'm never, I'm never rude, but I'm just like, it's a scam, it's a scam, it's a scam, it's a scam. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Um. Anyway, so we went, we went like, where is it? It's just in there. And I was thinking to myself, and this is obviously not a legit thing. I think this is some maybe some knocked half stuff, I'm not sure. Bumble Fox think Bubble Fox thinks eighty six thinks for the resub. Um So we went downstairs and there was a wee crowd of people, it was a wee kinda narrow sort of what narrow sort of place and there was maybe about twenty people there along with us and then there was obviously one or two cunts that worked there and they were like shady looking guys and there was a guy that was behind like a counter and had lots of boxes of stuff boxes of stuff to sell and he was chatting to everybody he's like right come on in come on in it was downstairs this there's no windies you know you couldn't you couldn't we couldn't just, like, there wasn't a door just there, you couldn't just walk right out. Dun, 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 stairs. Dun, 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 stairs. And the guy's like, right, come on in, everybody, come on in. Men, women. I think there was one or two Wayne's, you know, like families. And we're all in. And I was like, right, I wonder what this is in. And the guy hit it with some sort of part of, like, right, everybody, now, you got the leaflets. You're probably in here, maybe you walked in, got the leaflets. Now, was it was it English? Can't remember if it was English. I'm I'm picturing a fucking cockney. Hypobox, thanks for the sub. Oi, oi, alright, tell what we got, tell what we got for you. Now it was something like that. Um but let's say we Scottish. And I just remember him going Okay, right, come in, everybody, come in, right, all right, so, and he hit it with this part of it. Now, what have we got here for you? This is not a lie. You c believe your eyes. We've got iPods, we're going to be getting away for a, a five, ten pounds. You get this, you get that. You got this, you've got that. You got this, you get that. But, like, right, fuck, what can go wrong here? Um. Now, you might be wondering how we, we can give you this sort of stuff at such a low price. Don't ask. Ask no questions, tell no lies. Everybody has a bit of a chuckle, right? There's a few guys stoning nearby like that. Kind of sort of shady looking cunts that, that work for this fucking outfit. Remember, this is a pure bare, like, empty shop that's obviously been hired for... You can hire, the, hire it for two weeks or something. Fuck knows. Um, and then... What happens? Right, so he's chatting away, right? He's chatting away like that. And he goes, right, so here's what we're going to do. And he does this thing where I think at the beginning he he says, now I'm going to tell you how we're going to do that, but just to, I don't know if he gains our trust by saying something, but kind of right away He's, he goes like, right, who, could, right, who is wanting an iPod? An iPod here, who is wanting an iPod here? iPod. And somebody down the front's like, ah, me, right. And he goes like, right, there you go. And then the honour of the fucking money, right? The honour of the money, something like that, right? And it's all this kind of quick talking, right? Oh, what's going on, what's going on? And you're wondering, does this stuff work? Does it work or no? Don't really know. Anyway, but at some point, obviously, I obviously plant, right? Um... And the person goes away. It's a it raffle scam. I something like that. Prodigy. It was like this. Um, I can't remember exactly how it went, but it was something like you said. Right. So what we've got to do now? What we've got to do now is I've told you 
well maybe no strictly legit here <laughs> now if you're buying this stuff if you're here to buy this stuff some some something you know if you if you honor the money buy this stuff then you might be involved in something some 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 fuck knows what how we're gonna do is if you're interested in buying something if you really are interested in buying something here's what you're gonna do take a money out of your pocket if you've got a fiver or a tenner if you're interested in, and you take that and you stick that in there right just to let us know what you're actually here because we're going to go dead fast here we need to know if you're, if you're serious about this it was some part of like that right so that gets everybody their money out of their fucking pocket right so there's some people leaving right there's some people leaving now what we're going to do is we're going to give you something we're going to give you something for that fiver to hold on to right so we're going to give you like say aftershave something like that that just shows us that you have bought something that you're interested in this right don't worry you're not going to be taking away this rubbish aftershave it's rubbish the aftershave's rubbish this is just to show that you're interested or something like that right you saw this on the real hustle i got right and he's gone all fast you don't know what the fuck's happened he's air there behind this counter and people are like holding their money up and this guy comes in and swaps her fiver me and my pal's fiver for like this fucking aftershave a lot of crap and this and that right um right and he says right now we know you're serious now we can get around to selling you the stuff now who wants a this who wants a that who wants a this? Who wants a that? Right. And then so somebody down the front is swapping her fucking aftershave for an iPod. Somebody down the front is swapping her aftershave for a fucking telly or some shit and are walking away and they look suspiciously like the cunts are at the side of us. Then he goes like that. Okay. Okay now. We're, at, we're all at our iPods, we're going to see if we can get mail back, something like that. Now what we've got left is that we've got, got these other things. We've got a toaster, or some shit like that, I can't remember what it is. Or it's some other aftershave. And you're like, oh right, wait a minute. So they've ran out of the fucking goods. That they said they were going to, I don't quite know what the scam is, I can't quite remember. But he was saying, right, so we've ran out of the things that basically you fucking came for. Now we've just got all this crap left. Something like that. And me and my pal look at each other like, fuck this man, this is a fucking scam. As if it wasn't fucking obvious, right? But we're like, fuck this. Um, I'm like, no, 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 no. So I was like, I'm gonna... No, I want my money back. And I say to somebody at the side, I says, here, listen, mate, I can't, I, I can't get my money back. No, no, and, and I can't remember what the guy said, but he said something like, no, you'll be able to get something, you'll be able to get something, you'll be able to get something. I says, no, I want an iPod. I say, I came in here, no, you'll, you'll get something. No, I came in here to get like, an iPod for a fiver. No, no, look, we just got that, you got that, that's good, that's good, I've had the one aftershave. Well, if you wait about, there's going to be more stuff, there'll be more stuff. I can't remember what the conversation was, but I was like that, my pal was like kind of laughing a wee bit, because I was like, I'm not having it. And I'm not usually that sort of cunt, I don't know if I had a fucking pint in me, or no. But, you know, I was looking about, I was like, this is a big fucking scam, and I'm not fucking having it. And I went like, here to the main guy, you know, the main guy who's like talking all loud, and you can see everybody, these families and moms and dads and just, just women and men that have kind of drifted in, you can see they're sort of like this, they kind of know they're getting fucking, right, and Lee says, I used to watch these guys in London when I saw the scam ended with some plastic bags being filled with iPods and watches and shit and being given to studios and then everyone else got pre-packed black bags and told not to open them until they got home. Right. I'm, I, I, there's something, I don't even know if it really got to that fucking stage with me, but it was something like that, it was something like that, they've got that, you're going to get this, and you might get something good or something. But I went like that, see me explaining it to, to you right now, you're probably thinking, 
how did you fucking fall for it? But see, when it's all going off fast and you're like, fuck, you just want to get out of there. You're thinking to yourself, oh, well, maybe I've got the aftershave and I mean, it is only a fiver. Uh, at Christmas, we know when the cunt's fucking chucking money everywhere. Um, but I went like that. Hey, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me, yeah. I, listen, I want my fiver back. I, I want my money back. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, you're going to get it. Let's say as an English guy. You're gonna get, you're gonna get something for your money. Now, what? Are we, no, no, I want, my, I want my money back. They're asking him, I want, I want my money back. Yeah, well, go, go and ask someone else. They, go and ask one of them. They, they'll, they'll sort you out. I want, I, I, well, no, no, I want, I want it right now. Yeah, you get it then. If you don't, if you, if you don't like it, what you get, you get, get it. And it's like, no, 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 wait, wait. And I said something. I said, look, mate, I just want my fucking money back. Right, I went like, I just want my fucking fiver back, something like that. And he went like, oi, 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 hey, hey, what's your language? What's your language? Your kids here. It, it was something like, he said, what's your language? There's kids here. You know, he tried to spin, he tried to turn it like that as if I was a fucking baddie here. What's your language? There's kids here. You know, as if you're like, hey, come on, he's a pure decent guy and I'm the fucking bad one. And I was like, well, I just want my money. And he went like that. Um, yeah, I'll just go on it with one of those guys. I'll tell you what, and this guy, guy's like, yeah, I don't know. Come this way, sorry, man. Like, this way, he wasn't really like that guy. He was me like, hey, come on, man, this way. Oh no, come on down here. No, I'll get it. And I was like, aye, right. I'm not going. And I said it pure in front of everybody. You know, get everybody kind of try to fucking announce it. Aye, right. I'm not going with him any, but anyway, anyway, I'll get fucking jumped. I'll get jumped. I'll get mucked. I can't remember what I said, but I said there would be violence involved. I'm getting fucking, I, I'm not going with him anywhere. I wanted to create a bit of a fucking, you know, a bit of a kind of panic. I wanted to create a bit of, right. Like, our herd mentality is letting us, letting us doing fuck all. It's letting us doing nothing. I want to get the herd mob mentality working for me. So I was like, here, here, I right, go with him. I'm not going with him, I get jumped. I'm not, I want my money back. And it was all kind of noisy anyway, right? But I went like, the guy's like, here, here. And he went, no, come here, come here, come here. And he's, he's like, get, getting the money out. And he was towards the door. And uh, we walked towards him, me, me and my pal. And uh, he gave us the money and we left. That was it. Gave us the money and we left. And nobody else followed us out. You know, I was waiting for a lot of them. I was waiting for a lot of them to go like that. You know, like moms and dads and all that to fucking start just going like, I we want our money back and all. Nobody came out. Nobody came out. And my pal, who was actually a, a wee bit of a nutter himself with some violent fucking tendencies in the past, uh, he was like, oh, fuck, you're fucking... I was fucking mad, you're fucking off your nut. He was actually saying that to me and this cunt's actually off, he's not. I just don't like getting fucking ripped off. And I knew he was there anyway. I knew he was there. Plus, I had a drink in me. Fucking cracker. You were the only two junior. I know. The second we left, everybody goes like that. Okay. Okay. And cut. Okay, get everything set up again, guys. Get everything set up again from the top. From the top. Reset everything, guys. From the top. 